you will be an all-star and a power host. You will be able to overcome the rejections or the objections to having bad reviews. And you will press forward and rock out in this thing, man, that we call Tua. What's up, world? Welcome back to my new series, Turo Host Experience. Watch these videos, man, if you want to understand a little bit more about the Turo's host experience, how it is to be a host on Turo. These videos should be informative and definitely uh, captivating. Catch you guys on the next one. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't allow yourself to get too bogged down and too mentally involved in the bad review cycle. When I say bad review cycle, you get a bad review, you start to feel like there's nothing you can do right, you're messing up, you're gonna fail as a Turo host, and then you, you start thinking negatively. It allowed me to take the car off the platform and try to sell it, wasn't able to sell it. It just took me down a bad cycle, and I don't want that for you guys. I want you guys to have an experience that you get into it, you know what to expect. So when these things come, you know how to stay level-headed. You, you, you practice your patience and you keep pressing forward. You find you a good mechanic. You work with him. You talk to him. You let him know the reviews. You don't try to hide anything. Don't cut any corners. You do the best you can do every time. And you let the chips fall where they may. And I can guarantee you guys that if you do that, you will be an all-star and a power host. You will be able to overcome the rejections or the objections to having bad reviews. And you will press forward and rock out in this thing, man, that we call Turo. So expect it, man. I got a one-star review. There's a few more one-star reviews that I'm going to read. I think I got two more to go through in this series um, before I bring it to an end. But, man... This one star right here, I can definitely say and just speak from my own experience. It, 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 it made me question whether or not I wanted to keep moving forward with this. I took it personally. You know, I really took it personally, like a personal attack. I felt as though this guy just thought like I was just the worst host ever. And it really made me second guess myself and second guess why I was doing Turo and why I was even on a platform in the first place. And that's not a cool place to be. So I, that's why I wanted to make sure that I got on here and I started to spread the, the knowledge of how this thing works, man. And not a bunch of, oh, you can make money tomorrow and all this other stuff. But I wanted to give you the good, bad, and the ugly so that when you do join the platform, you know exactly what you're getting into and how to handle these things that come. Because they're going to come. It's going to happen. Even if you're using brand new cars, wear and tear happens, man. Your cars break down. Things happen outside of your control. And you just have to make sure that you do your due diligence and your part to make sure that you can stay mentally engaged and not allow yourself to become distracted by this was a distraction for me that cost me potentially $1,000. I don't get that money back or those time, that time back. So you want to make sure that you don't allow yourself to make that same bad mistake. Take the review, look at it, assess it. What do I need to improve? Improve that and move on to the next rental. That's it. If, that's, if there's anything you got from this video, that's what I wanted you to get. Assess, implement the changes, and move forward so that you don't miss out on a couple thousand dollars like I did. Once again, man, I'm your host, Kev B. This is the Believe in Yourself Network. Comment, share, subscribe. Hit me down below, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. As long as you believe that you can do it, you will do it.